Okay, here we go. L.A. Noir Part 4. Okay, yep, resume game. Uh, yeah, traffic, okay. Consoles, car. Oh, man. I wonder what's been going on in Mike and Cole Phillips's world. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs, says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good, get going. Fine, I was gonna ask any anyway. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Filthy pig. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. This guy's got a screw loose. Mm -hmm. I'll have you drive today, my friend. You can drive. I don't know. You hear about Adrian? Brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Lukowski. Talk about experience. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Car's down the alleyway, detectives. I think I've seen you before, Mr. Houlihan. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch, anyway. Ooh. How dare you disrespect, disrespect your elders that way. Okay. What do we got? So, obviously, this is like the Sandlot shit. Homemade backyard baseball. Diamond. Bukowski, get over here! I don't think so. Okay, so it's not relevant. Neither is the newspaper. Well, actually, let's, let's just take a look at the car. Come on, Bukowski, move it! I swear to God, a real needle in a real haystack. And they expected me to... It's owned by the Argentinian embassy.
Provisions and vehicle and highway traffic deck. Empty. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. This is any use to us. This doesn't pertain to the case. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyways. Last night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them. I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. said it. You lied to me once. You gonna tell me what I want to know? Or do I have to drag it out of you? You should learn to talk to older people with some manners, <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, old man. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Did you see them take anything else? Nope, I don't think so. 
That's enough for now. Remember, Jacob, it's an offense to obstruct a criminal investigation. Let's hope you've given us everything. Jacob's dumped the book he was reading in a hurry when we walked up. You curious what he didn't want us to see? Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R&I. Yep, I knew it. Nope, I need to further investigate. Take the book. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. We had a line on so he's the one that planned the robbery of I think we've run this place dry let's find a game well <laughs> Phelps badge 1247 Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello? Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Um, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Messages for me, please. There's just one message for you, detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706 was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning. Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. Hey, isn't that the cop? About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General, 
I insist on my full title. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consul garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, your worship. You didn't use the car last night? For dinner, yes. But it was back in the garage by nine. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Dewey Brothers. You think someone from the garage could have been involved in the theft? It would not surprise me in the least. I'll be talking to the gangster squad about you, Valdez. They're gonna love your diary. Okay. So, let me get this straight. So the guy is involved with his... It's like, like fraud, basically. Basically, he would, you know, he had the car, and then he had... Uh, maybe, maybe not. You think those vice boys get any on the side? Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of them in a couple of hours. Asshole! I survived the war for this. Oh, God. Hey, can you give me a hand? I got a hard case I need to break. The thing was, he was a really nice guy. I felt lousy tolerating. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. She wants a five-star goddamn wedding. <sighs> okay. He said something about vice. So let's try to find it. Let's get any on the side. Solve that big case. Detectives, okay. All right, let's go. How do you drive? Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? Walker, I, I am driving. No! Or you're driving. Yes, get in there. I guess I'm driving. You don't care who gets in your way, do you? I, I almost got him, okay? I almost did. Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, English, please. See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. It's just very industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That is well. 
We got a hold up gun sour. Three guns locked themselves in with two hostages. I tried to go on to the front, but the place is a fortress. I nearly got a mouthful of lead from my scroll. All right. I'll see if I can get in through the back. All right. I'll stay here and keep them busy. Let's go. Around the back. What the heck, fire? Ah! <laughs> Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Weapon down now. Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. You, you fucking ask for it. No. <laughs> so lousy. I killed the hostage. What's the situation? Yep, uh, we yep. got a hold all up. Right. I got all this. On sour. Three guns locked themselves in with two hostages. I tried to go on through the front, but the place is a fortress. I nearly got a mouthful of lead from my trouble. All right. I'll see if I can get it through the back. All right. I'll stay here and keep them busy. Let's go. Right back. Oh! on the
Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. You want me to paint the fucking side? <laughs> He didn't listen. Car 11K, I've been involved in a shooting at 333 South Main Street, Globe Loan and Jewelry. It's code 4 now, but the suspect is down. I need an ambulance here. I notify my supervisor and the coroner. You're gonna kill someone! <laughs> Oopsie. Get out the way. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. We keep all our tools in here. I'll be damned. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. Looks like you, you sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. That's not right. I'm trying to... Wrong size. No... One left. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter. Optimistic, Cole. So is a spark plug. Doesn't tell me anything. Junk. Yeah. That's 
soon, the last needs to wait to this soon. Incidental. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. So Valdez was just driving by and he saw the car. Yeah, something like that. Happens all the time. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me. If he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Thieving bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. So that's it. Like I said, the workshop's too close to the street. It's difficult to keep an eye on it. We'll be keeping an eye on you, Dewey, and spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. Mm. You really ought to take more time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. You're behind the wheel. Uh, where are we going? You read the story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So, things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkies and color, and look what we have now. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. What the hell is this guy doing? Yes. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. So how far along are you, Anna? Nearly 20 weeks. 
Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? I doubt it. You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very Doesn't look long like time. anything. Looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. Don't think this is anything. Yeah. We're looking for a license. Oh. Diplomatic license plates. Everything here is going to be relevant. Yes, yes, I get it. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Really ought to take more time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? He steals cars to support you and care for the baby? How can you say that? What makes you say that? I have my own job. I work at Union Station. If I have to, I will bring up our baby. That is all I have to say to you. Okay. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. You're lying, Anna. I think you're a willing accomplice in these robberies. What proof do you have that I stole the cars?
You come into my house to no. insult and bully me? Yes. I have known many policia like you. Gabriel wasn't at work. Where can we find him? He said he would never go back. Gabriel is out driving around in his car. If you don't tell me where he is right now, Anna, I'll put an APB out on him and ask them to shoot on sight. Please, please don't kill him. I can't tell you anymore. As soon as we corner Gabriel, we'll be back for you, Anna. You had your chance to cooperate. Let's get out of here, Phelps. Don't worry, I've got an idea. Never understood it. The more rotten the boyfriend, the more loyal the girl will be. She's going to warn him, Phelps. We need to follow her. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. Uh, too close, Phelps. You're way too close. Hit the brakes, Cole. Give some room. Fuck! End of the line. Anna will warn Gabriel and they'll both go to ground. We can write this one off, Phelps. Never understood it. The more rotten the boyfriend, the more loyal the girl will be. She's going to warn him, Phelps. We need to follow her. idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Sorry. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole.
vicinity. Citizen reports at 415 at the corner of Banning and Santa Fe. Suspect vehicles engaged in illegal street racing. It is to handle code 3 identified. <laughs> There's the red Ford, that's Delgado, right there. Quick, they're getting away! Phelps, 1247, requesting assistance at First and Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. Delgado is our boy, forget the others. Get in the way! Yeah, I know that. Gonna lose him. Step on it, Phelps. Take him out. Come on, you're getting cleaned by a kid in a red fort. God damn it, Cole, hold it steady. Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto! You should speak to the maricón! Valdez, I showed him! Now who's a man? I should've burned his fucking car! You got a foreign dignitary outed as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That Detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.